Hey, what's going on, everyone? Just going to pick up where I left off about a week ago. Kind of got a little busy here, and I just wanted to make sure that I had just a little bit of time to somewhat do these right and a little bit accurate um, as possible here. And, you know, it always comes to the topic of players saying, hey, you should try Cyrene for this one, or you should only use Conquer, or you should only use Phantom with a Thorn main uh, gun. And so it's always a question of who's right and what should we be using. And um, generally, I always kind of start out this way. Pending on your setups, this can totally be different. And so it's kind of up to you to just take these videos and maybe take your own uh, ships. Do your own comparisons. But for kind of like the medium players and players that have been playing this, that have been collecting uh, for Phantom and Cyrene and the Conqueror, um, this kind of gives you an idea of, hey, maybe you should be trying this, or maybe you should be using this ship, or maybe that ship is more powerful, uh, even though you don't think it is. Well, my uh, uh, my Thor main gun isn't all the way up to par, and I've proven, you know, I didn't have mine uh, up to par, and it's still not up to par, but I have been able to prove that the Thor, even without having you know, any rainbow to Thor uh, main gun versus the Conquer was indeed getting more points. So, you know, don't scratch these ideas of, you know, uh, does something work better or no, it's not going to, it doesn't look like it's going to go out and test it, you know? And so that's my advice to you guys. Um, always go out and test these uh, yourself. Again, there's going to be a lot of variables uh, to how this works, um, especially for the newer players, um, even some of the uh, mid players, depending on how much you've collected. And, you know, there is some variables to this. And so these aren't always perfect uh, examples or, you know, perfect ways of saying, hey, you better use uh, the Phantom. Because, again, depending on, you know, your setups and what you've collected, this is going to have a variable uh, to what you're doing. And so, okay, just going back to Pegasus here. Um, it is an aerial. Uh, it is an aerial legion boss, and so for aerial legion boss, of course, with your technologies, you're going to want to use uh, aerial, and also for uh, your uh, gems, you're going to want to use aerial. And we'll go over that here in a little bit, as I always do. Just kind of go over this just a little bit. Here's my tech setup, uh, mainly for the conquer. I've had a lot of successful people just using this tech setup outside of the Conquer also. Uh, so, you know, give or take would be maybe the main gun attack. We know that the uh, Conquer main uh, gun attack rate uh, is not effective to the Titan. And so you'll see a lot of players not using the attack rate, but on other ships, um, it does work. So, and as far as Legion boss... I'm pretty sure that the attack rate does work, but just uh, for safekeeping, and I could just put it into some something else, um, that's why you always see me with a little bit lower of an attack rate, because I mainly have been using Conquer throughout the game. And then, of course, we know that the wing gun is basically the, the weakest of the weapons, and, so I, and some players don't put any uh, tech on the wing gun, but me personally... I always try to put a little bit on all of this, and I just think by doing that, you just get kind of a better tech, uh, not only little balance, if I'm saying that right, but the possibility that you actually are increasing your score a little bit by doing this. Um, you know, that's hard to prove. Maybe one day we can maybe just, you know, do that. I've got a million tech videos up there, but this one's been pretty dang solid for me uh uh most of the way here so i always give you guys my little just how i've been playing it and just trying to help some of the you know newer players and you know players struggling why can i get a higher uh uh hit onto the titan and my legion bosses and you know a lot of people have been or players have been very successful for what i'm showing you and Again, I'm not a uh, technology expert. I'm not an expert at this game by any mean, guys. Um, I just, uh, you know, just feel it's important that there's somebody out here just, you know, just trying to help out a little bit because I didn't really have too many people helping me. And then the advice that I, I would always get in the forums, again, you've heard me say it a hundred times in other videos, was just really bad advice. So I just decided to start making these videos and, you know, just not only for myself, but to also get uh, other players involved and to 
saying, hey, maybe you should try this. This does work better. And, you know, it's just a friendly page of just trying to help each other. What are we trying to do? Accomplish a higher score. And, uh, you know, hopefully get some tips and maybe some tricks out of this. But so here is my tech setup for an aerial. And I would also say that this is a pretty good tech for general play. Um, I do, again, have a ton of videos um, that I kind of say the same things over and over. But uh, damage increase, um, I do like to go in between 65 and, so, and 75 on that. And on my, uh, on my defense aerial and for boss, you guys do want to have these. And again, if it's ground, then you're going to switch these to ground. But this is an aerial. But right here, I like to be between... Uh, generally 35 and really no higher than uh, 50. Um, a lot of times if you put too much defense, and I say this all the time too, uh, you can lose points. If you put way too much into offense without a little bit of defense, you're going to lose points. And so there is a really fine balance into doing uh, uh, your technology. And if somebody has a better technology that's really working for them, I think we all would be interested. But... This is a pretty dang solid all-around uh, technology just for general play. Even in Planet Wars to a degree and Star Scramble, um, there is other videos that I've shown you guys uh, do, uh, do more of an offense and defense. And you guys can go back and look at that. We won't go over that too much here. But I am showing you my technologies. And let's go to Jim's here and let's see what I have. So here's a little tip though guys, I've been, you know, playing those uh, tough, you know, 60, 69, I just got past and boy, you know, it, even with the recommended uh, power, it's tough. I don't care what anybody says, if you're, if you're beating these under the recommended power, you guys are amazing. So, but uh, one little thing that I've noticed is, is I like to put on my ground gym for those miss missions and it seems like it's just been a lot easier. So I think I have my ground gyms. Um, let me see in here. Let me see. Yeah, I do right here. So I'm going to remove these because we're not doing anything ground with the Titan or we are not doing anything with, uh, uh, basically, uh, well, we are doing aerial and we are doing boss. But again, if you have your ground gems in there, even, even if it looks more powerful, you guys are losing points, get the ground off. If you're doing aerial and if you're doing a ground, get the aerial off and put your ground in. And I think where I was kind of, you know, uh, not stutter, stuttering here, but just because your gems are higher doesn't mean that you're stronger. Put the appropriate gems on, you're going to see an increase. And so, you know, um, it kind of keeps going. You know, I've made a gym video in the past stating, hey, if you're a smaller player, use your... Uh, most powerful gems and that's just to get your base power up but you know there's kind of a good and kind of a bad to that because again if you're specifically using your gems and I might do another gym update video here just to kind of not only kind of correct myself but just to you know just explain this just a little bit uh, better for you know players coming in and just really confused on this but um, Legion boss is what a boss and uh, the Titan is what I know it says strong foe, but it's a boss, so you can put your boss gems on, and you can put uh, your aerial gems on, and, you know, everybody asks, well, how many should I put? Put your best gems on in those categories, your best gems. So if you have two-star red uh, boss, use those. Um, if your aerials are not, you know, even, you know, uh, uh, one red star, don't use those ones use your red stars um just be smart about using and that's kind of what i meant by you know use your best gems um just because you go all aerial does not mean that you're stronger and i gotta say one more thing here and i, and I have said this correctly in the other videos is none of these gems are stronger than the other except for the star value so boss doesn't mean that you're going to get more because it says boss uh ground doesn't mean more you know, your star value is what is important, but each gem is created equal into the power. So, uh, again, you're going to want to pick something that uh, definitely has more power into it. And so right here, 
here's my boss okay so I have a red star I'm gonna embed that one and I have basically another red star so it would just be smart to use my red stars and if I go back to here look what I have now guys so I'm using my best gems in aerial and I'm using my best gems in boss and that's the correct way um, again if you're using lower aerials all the way across the board that does not mean that it's stronger and uh, I would just suggest using the best gems that you have for what boss or aerial but if all your aerials are stronger than your boss then yeah put all your aerial aerials in um, so just to make sure that that's clear because I keep getting asked that uh, a few times on what do I do with the gems exactly and again uh, just use your, your your strongest gems here guys okay so uh, me personally um, I am a big fan of Freya and so I'll just show you guys I finally got her awakened which was a very big pain in the neck and so um, always just use your best pilot you know there's a couple of uh, players that will insist that you use a certain pilot for the legion boss but i think that's really debatable i think it's just most important to use you know one of your most powerful pilots because all of your attributes to all of these pilots uh apply to the pilot that you're using so don't get too hung up on if it says a boss pilot or if it use your strongest and right here uh in the right hand top corner you can see you can find power into your pilots just by hitting power and of course the first one's going to tell you which one's your most powerful so little tip there and then uh for this uh test we're going to do just a couple of different tests here just like we've been doing to see you know which combination might be able to uh, uh beat uh the legion boss pegasus uh better than the other and again um uh, pending on you know how many stars you have uh how many shards you have for uh, basically your your ships there's a lot of variables out there so again this is just kind of a generalized video of how you guys can go out and test this so let's go back and so you guys can see let me go back here one more time so I'm gonna use full conquer on this one and let's just kind of see you know what I can get with just the full conquer as the base of basically our point value and if the other ships and combinations can beat my five star conquer all the way around and so we all know the wing gun it's arguable with uh thor a lot of players like to use thor because they believe that the wing gun is powerful um i went ahead and did a little pre-test to that you guys can look up that video but as far as me i do not uh super the wing gun ever do not ever super your uh, armor if you don't plan on getting hit why would you super that and plus there's no real value in hit value to that either so that's why you always see me use this setup and I have proven in many videos your straight Vulcan cannon is going to be basically your uh, more powerful uh, weapon as far as your main gun and you see what i just did everybody always kind of gets on my tail about not buffing the armor if you buff your armor in the conquer you're supposedly supposed to get um a more damage increase so you see i just buff those and in this one i will use the transformation we're going to just try to get as uh, much point value out of this as possible now on this one i guess i will race up on it for a second i keep getting the question why do you race up on that during your titan and the real reason is is look at your missiles if you go to the bottom and you count those going up the screen they should uh go four to five rounds of missiles going up so the higher you are with the conquer the less the missiles are able to come out and hit the core so when I go up and down doing that, there's a, it's also, uh, you know, it's debatable that when you go up closer, though, that your wing gun fires faster. And if you're in your Titan mode and you saw the spread, how it's, your, your, your bullets 
or however you want to call it spread out if you're at the bottom the whole time it's not hitting anything so by going to the bottom releasing your missiles shooting straight up as fast as you can you have more potential for more of your weapons to hit while the missiles are spinning and hitting it at the same time so uh, i just wanted to bring that uh, uh to everybody's attention because i get asked that all the time and you know it's debatable some say that that's not true that doesn't work but um, it just makes more sense if I'm getting closer with all of those weapons, including the wing gun, and then again that uh, Titan spread uh, shot that it's doing. If I can get it close to the core and get it all hitting, doesn't it make sense that you would get a higher score? So uh, I've been uh, working on that one for uh, quite a while now, but that is just kind of the way that I play this. So I just wanted to make sure. But, you know, uh, 179.4 billion, I mean, I'm not going to squawk at that. I mean, that's not a horrible score by any means. And uh, not bad. But let's see if we can step this up a notch. And I do explain this all the time too, guys. So I'm going to get rid of my uh, Conqueror here. And I'm going to level it down in front of you guys. And maybe we can do a couple different tests that we haven't really. But I'm going to try to stay on target here. And I finally got a Rainbow uh, Thor. Finally, guys, um, just for you. <laughs> I still got a ways to go, but um, I finally got a Rainbow Thor. And I'm going to auto upgrade this. And here's the thing, guys. You saw what I did. I auto upgraded that. Do not put that on. I say this all the time in the videos. Do not put it on and expect your super to automatically uh, increase this to its fullest potential. Just don't. I think I've proved that in a couple other videos. Yes, you want to not only arm this, but you also want to uh, uh, up, upgrade it as, as far as it'll go. So I'm going to equip this. Now we can see that I have it equipped. And again, be sure you guys are equipping this. Sometimes when I'm uh, yapping and doing this, I'll actually forget to equip it. And uh, make sure you guys are equipping this. And then make sure that you are uh, auto-upgrading to its fullest potential before you know doing your legion boss or uh your titan so but i think let's do a little uh kick around here on this one i don't think there's enough testing exactly with the conqueror and the thor uh main gun nobody ever talks about that so just you know just be a little bit different here let's see what happens here when i use this combination And so a lot of players are always like, you know, uh, when I'm talking to them or they ask the questions, well, my Thor is really weak. Well, depending on where you're at, you know, it could look weak. You guys have seen me do this test a few times with just a red uh, five star and even below. And we've seen the Thor weapon actually beat my five star conquer stuff. We have seen that. And so... The whole thing with the whole Thor uh, main gun is look what it's doing. It's hitting all of the targets accumulating points. It's not that Thor is that powerful of a weapon. It's how it's hitting everything at the same time. That's what counts with the Thor. So do not do not think just because you have a you know a purple even depending on your level that this isn't going to work. This is for you to just test all of these and see where you're at with it. But right here, 140 from 179. So we know the Thor for me and the Conquer wouldn't be the best combo. Okay, so um, I just wanted to do it just so that we can say that we did it. And now, so for this test, a lot of uh, players scream Sirene. Um, generally on one of the Legion bosses, but I'm always wondering why it's only one Legion boss that works so well with Cyrene versus the other. So I kind of have been going the extra mile out of my way to do the testing on Cyrene a little bit, but I also have other players that get mad at me because they're saying I'm not using it right. You're not getting it to zero before the transformation. And I tell you what, um, I kind of went over that. I do have a video specifically on that. I... 
would not play this trying to get to the zero mark and risking uh, dying several times to get one high score versus getting five high scores with Cyrene uh, by just being careful and I'll show you what I mean by that but I don't have this ship all the way up uh, to par very close to uh, almost having it maxed out but again what did I tell you guys earlier um, evolve these before going after anything to you know get the fullest potential and then right here you're gonna see me auto upgrade for why main gun attack 15 and then everybody screams Thor with Cyrene combo uh, period and so let's make sure so you see what I just did um, if I would have went and fought him I wouldn't have uh, had it selected and I kind of would have wasted this so make sure you go back and check everything um, I don't know if I have enough to do this one but it would almost be so everybody screams Thor but it would almost be kind of a cool one to do the conquer main gun on Cyrene so maybe down the road that's another video that we can do but right now this is what everybody screams is uh, the Thor and Cyrene combination with the conquer uh, wing gun missiles and shield so it's not that you're throwing all the conquer stuff out but so let's go we'll give this one a, a, a test here now going back to Cyrene I you know what I'm not a half bad player here but I am not going to risk killing myself before getting the maximized points and so everybody says hey you got to get uh, Cyrene down as low as possible before you do your transformation okay so I'm getting there and now you're starting to see what I'm saying um, you don't want to and so right here I would be comfortable getting into that mode of furious because what's going to happen is it's going to start depleting anyways but I'd rather get point value out of this than completely uh, killing myself trying to get maybe a little bit higher of a score so that's what I was saying here guys okay so none of this combinations has beaten the conquer at 179 billion but um now let's go ahead and do the phantom and again everybody screams phantom and basically uh the thor main gun so let's go back And I'm going to put the Phantom on. Now, on this one, everybody does say to conquer uh, on this one. And like I said, I just wanted to test and see why the other ones work better on the other Legion bosses versus uh, this one uh, as far as uh, Cyrene and Phantom. So that's why I'm just doing these tests, just to say that we did them. And so I'm going to select this one go back let's just make sure and of course I have the Thor main gun on this with uh, Phantom and so let's go back and just see if we can beat the conquer score with this So you see me buff those uh, shields there. Because again, when you buff those shields, you are supposed to get a higher score by doing that. Can we get Phantom to beat 179 on the Conquer on this Legion boss?
Everybody screams the Thor main gun, and again, generally on the Legion bosses, it is because it's hitting multiple targets. Now this one isn't a very good one. I'll tell you guys why. Because by the time uh, the time ends on this one, um, you're just now getting into your Furious with uh, Phantom, and so I think timing has a lot to do with uh, why Phantom might work better on another one versus this one. You see it took forever to get uh, uh, the Furious mode for basically the Phantom. And right here, uh, obviously, we would not use uh, Phantom uh, for this one. Um, nor would we use Cyrene. So Conquer would be the right choice for this Legion boss. And let me see here, guys. And just... You know, it's been kind of a question, why doesn't anybody try the crow or, or, or thing? So that one's kind of been maybe another testing down the road that I was going to actually start doing some of these. And here, let's, let's do one. Uh, thing with, uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, you know what? We're going to try this a little bit different here. Why not? Bear with me here, guys, but I'm going to try something completely different here. And then right here, guys, I'm going to just do this in front of you since I'm here. Now, I don't have all the uh, shards for this, but if you guys look over here, and we've gone over this a few times... Um, all fighters wing gun attack 5% uh, percent plus level 60. So I'm going to go here and just do this since, hey, why not? So here in the top right corner, level cap, I am just going to go to 60. Then I'm going to come over here and auto upgrade. Uh, the attribute basically and look what happened so i might as well do that i'm going to try to get a high score with uh basically thing here but at the same time i wanted to make sure i'm doing what maximizing the weapon and ship that i'm using so now i've got my conquer main gun maximized why not hey let's just do something different I'm wondering why we don't see anybody screaming thing or crow on any of this. So I've been kind of wanting to do a, a little series on that one here pretty soon. But I'm going to beat everybody and jump the gun here since I had this extra one. And we know Conquer is probably the best one. But hey, let's just throw a little curveball in here for a second. And I can already see, if you want to call it the Furious mode, I guess that would still be pretty much what each ship does, right? Um, but it is taking a little bit of time for the Furious mode to move up. So that would probably be one reason why you wouldn't use Thane, because you can't really get into that Furious mode uh, quick enough. But, here's something for me though, this has already beat the Phantom, and this has already beat uh, Cyrene by using Thane and the Conqueror uh, main gun instead of the Thor main gun. So for me, that's pretty interesting actually. Now it's making me wonder why there isn't enough testing on the Thane or the Crow right there. So 
I think in the future that might be, you know, something to think about here because I don't hardly ever, actually I never see a player say, hey, why don't you use Thane on Legion Boss or why don't you use Ever? So just wonder what the deal is with that. But, you know, without being able to get into that furious uh, very fast, um, this did beat the other ships out. Conquer is the one that you guys want to use on this, but I actually find that pretty interesting, actually. So, but, you know, guys, uh, as I always say, uh, don't hesitate to try something. Go take what you have and go, you know, do a couple little combinations uh, throughout the week. Write it down so that you know your best combinations, and then, you know, you can go from there. Um, but... I know everybody's trying to get the high score all the time, but maybe you're not getting the high score by not really testing this for what you have. So this can change and be a little bit different per everybody's setup. Again, these are not perfect videos, but they're just kind of thinking outside of the box and saying, hey, can we can we prove this a little bit? Can we show this? Can we do this? And so, again, don't get stuck in your uh, old ways because you might be missing out on a whole bunch of points um, and all kinds of different things. And last but least, as I always say, guys, just have fun. And until next time.